Alrighty guys, hello, welcome to YouTube land. I'm sliding through, this is Miss Tiki. I haven't did any reviews because I don't have a voice. But uh, I'm gonna try to come and slide through and bring you guys Empire. <clears throat> Y'all gonna have to bear with me. This is this, uh, the beginning of Empire season two, episode one. Let's get right on into it, you guys. All right. We return in this season back with our uh, our regular characters. We got Boo Boo Kitty, Boo Boo Kitty, she twerking. We got the boys Jamal, Andre, and Hakeem. We got motherfucking Cookie, James Colwell. I can't even say it, Cookie. We got Lucius, who's now residing in the state penitentiary for killing a so-called bunky. We have a whole bunch of motherfuckers visiting. I seen Al Sharpton. Was that Chris Rock? DJ. Um, Petey Pablo. And a whole bunch more motherfuckers have came in to start this season off of Empire. All right, basically we're kicking it off and we got this um, concert going on because um, I don't know if Cookie trying to free Lucius or if she trying to get Mimi to lick that cool that cat. Lick, 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 lick it like a lollipop. I don't know what's going on with Miss Cookie. You know, spending 17 years in the state penitentiary, I'm quite sure. She got that monkey licked on. Lick it like a lollipop. So anyway, Mimi is an investor and everybody's trying to get her on their team. So they're doing this concert supposedly to help free Lucius. But Lucius is in jail and he see while he's in jail, <clears throat> he see on camera Mimi Standing there looking like Han uh, Cookie is getting ready to lick it like a lollipop. So anyway, they trying to get Miss Mimi to come on and join in. I don't know where this bitch been and I don't know who she is or what type of minor she may have. But they at her ass, okay? So then Cookie throws a party for Mimi. And uh, she's trying to get her to join the team. They're trying to go behind Jamal back and take the company from him because Jamal is running the company while Lucius is serving time in the big house while he's on vacation, as we say. So anyway, Mimi at the party and it's a lesbian party and all these bitches are at her. She tell one bitch, you too motherfucking needy. Get out my motherfucking face. And she's sitting and she's flirting with Cookie. Cookie. I can't say it, James. <laughs> Only James Colwell. Y'all go over and check out his channel. Only James Colwell can say Cookie. Anyway, Mimi is sitting and she's checking out the scenes and she see Miss Motherfucking Boo Boo Kitty. And she goes over to that bitch and she said, Come on, dance with me. Boo Boo Kitty looking around like, Bitch. What? Bitch, what? I don't get down like that. Cookie tell her, go ahead, dance with her. Do what you gotta do. Bitch, we need her on our team. So Miss Boo Boo Kitty gets up and that bitch go, pop, lock, and drop it. Pop, lock, and drop it. That bitch take her motherfucking white little jacket off. And she starts to twerk, honey. She twerking. She working in. Honey, she do that stank face. She make it do what it do, you know. You know how you arch your back and you throw your ass out. Throw that ass in the circle. Throw that ass in the circle. So, uh, Miss Boo Boo Kitty, she ends up sleeping with Mimi. Because they really want this bitch as an investor on their team. 
But meantime, in the between time, Miss Lucius is in the motherfucking vacation village. And he's basically running things. Frankie shows up. I think that's his name. He's the one that sent the rose. Well, Cookie Thought sent the rose. Because she seen him kill somebody. And she snitched in the feds. She got out early. Because she made a deal with the feds. I don't know what happened, what took place. But basically, Frankie told DJ, I forgot what his character name is now, that he was going to fuck him up because he killed his friend, his homeboy. And DJ sitting there like, uh-uh, it wasn't me. It wasn't me. It wasn't me. So anyway, he said, motherfucker, I know you did it. So Frankie takes motherfucking DJ, fucks him up, beat him up, and I think he cut that motherfucking head, that nigga's head off, excuse me, and he mailed that motherfucker to Cookie. So Tasha is trying to get in touch with Cookie and letting her know that the roses that she's receiving this time is real, they're not fake. Portia, when she answered the motherfucking telephone, this bitch said, I gotta go, shit, she ain't got time. And she neglects the phone call the sister i forgot what her name is tasha i'm gonna call her sis sis shows up over there at cookie house her and the kids and she trying to let cookie know that this motherfucker frankie is really finna kill her punk ass so when cookie makes it to the house her sister there and all her motherfucking kids they that went in the motherfucking room and got her motherfucking wigs and these little bad ass uh, what we gonna call these rug rats these motherfucking pig fins they got her wigs and they all playing with them cookie coming like what the fuck is going on what you motherfucking kids doing with my motherfucking wigs and shit sister's trying to let her know that this motherfucker is gonna kill you for real okay so Cookie has not been to see Lucius. So she breaks down because this motherfucker didn't go see her. The 17 years she was locked up and she go see his punk ass. And there's only reason. There's only a reason why she go see him. It's because she got to let him know that Frankie trying to kill her motherfucking ass. And he done mail a uh, D-Ray head to her in the box. Y'all, this is my first script. And I'm trying to go with the flow. I ain't got no voice. That's why I didn't do my love in hip hop Hollywood. But anyway, we gonna keep we gonna keep sliding on through. So Lucia's sitting there talking to Cookie, and he said, "You know what? I can't stand your motherfucking ass." He said, "I love you, but I hate you." She said, "You know what? Same motherfucker." She said, "But check this here, partner. I only showed up because I want you to know this motherfucker's trying to kill me." He said, is that right? She said, yeah, this motherfucker sent me D-Ray's head in the box. So he said, all right, I got this. So he has a meeting with Frankie inside the penitentiary because they all there together. Lucius got his own empire inside the state penitentiary. He got his boys. Frankie then showed up and he got his boys. Big bank takes small bank. Lucius got more money, so he buys out all the motherfucking inmates, and they all come on his team. And he let old partner know, when you fuck with her, you fucking with me. He said, man, I hope we cool. He said, because I ain't got no problem with you. I got the problem with Cookie. He said, is that right? He said, I'm just letting you know when you fuck with her, you fucking with me. He turned around, he said, I got the big bank motherfucker. He told all the, uh, the homies, take this motherfucker out. And that's Chris Rock's character. And I also wanted to say, when he was doing, when they were doing the concert in the beginning, Al Sharpton and all these motherfuckers, then so they sold out to Lee Daniels to be on this motherfucking empire. You know what? I ain't mad at you, motherfucker, because if you would have gave me five dollars, honey, I would have had my blonde wig wearing ass right the fuck over there. Whoa, representing, okay. So anyway, 
Lucius takes care of motherfucking Frankie, who is Chris Rock. Now he's gone off the motherfucking show. Damn, Chris, I thought I was going to see you for a while. And um, you guys, I want to hit on Jamal. He's running the company, and he's open out with his um, love affair with his lover. And Lawrence J. Lawrence J. is laying on the motherfucking desk with his lipstick on. And he's singing a song to motherfucking Jamal. Motherfucking Lawrence, you do that shit. I didn't know your motherfucking ass could sing. But you know what? Like I said, for $5, you can make me a hollow, okay? I would have been on there too. So you guys, basically, Hakeem is still acting like a little spoiled brat. Andre is still um, motherfucking stable. He really crazy because now he killed Vernon and he's scared somebody going to find out. And that bitch he married to, she's still wacko. And Lucius is basically doing time for killing his best friend, Bunker. And the motherfucking prosecutor is this uh, black bitch named Roxanne. And she's letting him know, motherfucker, I'm going to take you down. He basically tried to buy the bitch and tell her, you wearing whoop, whoop, whoop. And she said, no, nah, motherfucker. This is how it's going to be. You need to take this motherfucking plea deal. And when he tell her to fuck herself, she stand up and say, these ain't such and such of these motherfucking Tom Fords, okay? Y'all, I'm trying to see did I hear everything. But uh, they look like it's going to be a great season. I didn't have a voice, but I had to come in and represent for Empire. Season 2. Episode 1. And that motherfucking cookie, that bitch still crazy as a motherfucker. And it look like we have all our returning characters except for I didn't see that little girl that uh, Hakeem was going with. But you know what? It look like everything is fair in love and war on motherfucking Empire because everybody and their motherfucking mama is on here, okay? And it look like ain't nobody sparing nobody motherfucking soul. It is what it is, and it was what it was. And thank you guys for joining me for Empire. And I, by the time I come back, y'all, I hope I have my voice. I lost that motherfucker cussing me out, a motherfucker, because I don't mind. And you guys, have a blessed night, blessed day, and I'll see you guys in the next video, because I'm going to slide through, and I'm going to slide on. Good night, guys.